so this is 2018 module 2 right. here two features of a well-designed algorithm well it's like form three okay you have um precise and all those other words that they normally give you so precise and ambiguous um finite finite number of steps no no of steps yeah, no of steps so. All right, the objective of algorithm, the algorithm below is to print the sum of squares for all the even numbers and the sum of cubes for all odd numbers between integers den denoted by m and n x inclusively. However, there are logical errors in the algorithm. Okay, what do we want to do? Mod finds the remainder resulting from the division of one number by another. So let's see. So we get m and n. We want to check the mod of m to this will just here is going to give the um even number. No, we gotta check to see if the remainder is um sum of squares of all even numbers and sum of cubes of all numbers. Right here. Yeah, so we gotta print some if, so some if is missing there. Right, now we not solve it yet. Let me solve, let me solve it yet. Let me actually answer the question. Here the line number of an assignment statement. So you have assignment statements on line three, five, six. Anyway, you have an equal sign and nine. Any one of those should be okay. Right, identify three errors by stating the line number and description of each error. Okay, so if we want to multiply m by m. You want to multiply the number, but that, that means the number has to be even. So that means you have to you have to put some sort of logic inside here to first of all you have to find the remainder and then you have to say something like if the remainder is equal to zero, then it would be an even number. So you'll do the square. Else you'll do the cube. So if remainder is equal to zero, square is equal to m by m. Else um cube is equal to m by m by m. That's what I want. Sum of sum of squares for all even numbers and sum of cubes for all on all odd numbers. We have to add them up. Sum of squares. So the sum of all the squares. So you find the square and then you find the sum of it. Then you add it to the sum. So there's supposed to be some running total. Yeah. But they put in when uh, cube. So there's supposed to be m by m plus square. And so see m by m by m plus cube yeah that should be that should that should solve it that would find the sum of all of them because it'll take the value of square but we had a set square is equal to zero and cube is equal to zero here right and then you carry up the m by well you don't need to carry up the m by one because it's a for loop so the for loop will carry it up by itself all right so that's a problem there that will fix that there they'll print the square there cube supposed to be m by m by m okay so let's start with um let's start with line three line three the remainder should be calculated inside the loop so that it will always update this on the new value of m right so um i mean it really should be 4c is m to n so that you would be able to um yeah this should have a for loop the for loop should be um uh control variable so really you should have 4c is equal to m to n that way you multiply m by m you multiply c by c you multiply by c and this one will be c by c by c yeah so you have to print some variable but anyhow we're dealing with the first problem which is line three line four the um variable to count should be put in and the boundary for the for the should be m to n all right so four c is equal to m to n all right, all right that's the second error there so we dealt with line three we dealt with line four is there a problem with line five yes line five square should be c by c by c no on line five we should put that there should be some sort of if calculation conditional statement a conditional statement should be put in should be put in in based on the state of the remainder example if remainder is equal to zero then square is equal to c multiplied by c right that should fix that hold on one second please. right yeah sorry about that I have to take a call um <clears throat> Okay, so that would be error three. Um, of course, there will be other errors now. So you could point out um, after you point out the if statement here. This one would be so I basically listed three errors so far, which would be one, two, three. Then you could also go on to line six and say that cube is supposed to be c by c by c. That's another one that I didn't mention, but you could describe that one. And then you could go to line nine and say you don't need to increment the m because it's a for loop. It will increment by itself. Um, or also you could say line seven and eight these statements should be outside outside the loop and um the m one to, uh, 
M M one not ten. No need for that, and this should be C by C by C. Right. So those are all the errors inside there. Did I miss out any? Well, maybe, maybe. I don't know if they'll give this one to tell it that they should initialize the values at um zero. All right. Any questions there? No. Okay. Rewrite the algorithm so that it will achieve its objective. I just did that. I just did that. All right. So let's write it over. So I'm going to start um input m and n. Well, I will set square is equal to zero and cube is equal to zero all right square cube zero right here so we want to get read m and n and i'm going to say four c is equal to m to n to calculate the remainder the remainder is equal to m mod two. and then we're going to say a remainder is equal to zero then we will do the square is equal to square plus c multiplied by c l cube is equal to cube plus c multiplied by c e multiplied by c i will um, I'll do that and if, after we end the if now we will end the actual four and then we can print our print sum of squares are square and then print sum of cube uh that's probably in which cubes are or is mm, close enough and then stop it. That should be good there. All right, a car dealer in a particular Caribbean country imports shipments of used vehicles from Japan monthly. He wants to determine the government tax for each vehicle he currently has in the port. If the vehicle is more than five years old, then government tax is 140%, a lot of money. Um, if this of the sum of the cost and freight. Otherwise, government tax is 80% of the sum of the cost. An algorithm to accept the information on a set of vehicles. For each vehicle, the user will enter the vehicle aid, um, vehicle identification number, cost of vehicle, and the freight of the vehicle. The data is terminated by entering minus one for the age, no, minus one for the vehicle age. All right, so we read in information about a set of vehicles. Um, data is terminated by entering minus one. So that means we have a while that checking for minus one as the vehicle's age. So we have to read the age outside first. Well, we had to read everything outside first, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. So, we name this algorithm Carl. And we want to declare the variables. The variables that we're going to have will be uh, we need to have an A. We need to get a VIN vehicle ID number. Then we need to get a call. And we need to get free. Those are the things that we get. And now, what do we have to calculate? Sum of taxes. Tax sum. Um, we had to get the tax sum, but we had to get the normal tax also. The normal tax, the tax value that we calculate, the tax sum. And we want to find the highest also. Highest. So max tax and then account for the total. Yeah, count. Alright, so those should be our variables. If I miss out on here, I'll just add them in after. Alright, so we're going to start. Um well everything we set into zero here. Right, everything sets to zero maybe. Alright, so when we start, we're going to read for right, print and uh e read the eight. And then we're going to say while it is not equal to minus one. Do what do we do? We read the other stuff. Print enter um e vehicle number. Cost and free. Uh, enter. So we get all of them and then we read all three of them. Bin, all and free. Alright, because we got we didn't get a minus one. Once we didn't get a minus one, that means we have a valid age, so we good to go there. So we read all three of them and now we want to do the calculation. We want to say if it is greater than five, then we would say tax is equal to 140%, which is 1.5. Four. Well, you could put 140 over 100 if you want, or you could just put 1.4. Multiplied by the cost plus the freight. Cost plus freight. Mm -hmm. Right, that would be the tax. Else tax would be equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by the cost plus freight. End it. And then now we want to do the other things that we need to do. After we do all that, we need to now calculate what the total taxes what did i name the variable tax total tax sum then i want to say tax sum is equal to tax sum plus tax whichever tax gets calculated and, uh, and now we want to calculate the max so if tax is greater than max tax then max tax is equal to tax i'll keep track of the tax for us but we also have to keep the what they want they want the they want the vehicle id so we are a create a variable for max fin also right so we gotta add max fin so once we get it tax max fin is equal to the current fin that we're working on and if there right that will find the both of them 
for us. And um, El Grand should print the print on government tax for each vehicle. So that means we had a print inside the loop. Sum of all the government taxes to be paid. This one is outside the loop. The government tax on print for the vehicle or the highest. This is outside any number of vehicle process. That's outside. So the only thing we had a print inside is we had a print out all of the things so far. So we should after the if print um print bin mm, what did i name it the print bin and tax just normal tax. print bin and tax after i print the bin and the tax what do i have to do i have to count because i just counted one so count is equal to count plus one and after we do the count we have done everything that we need to do inside the loop except for we have to read a new value so before that we have to read a new age read age and then we could end while because once we read a new age this new age is going to now be able to check up here to see if the age that we got is not equal to minus one and then the whole process repeats All right so once the while loop is finished now we have to do our prints so we want to print total tax is total tax is um tax sum and then i want to print um Max and fin is maxin. And then I want to print total count. Total cars checked would be um count. And then we could stop. Yeah. As it is, kind of a lot for 10 marks, but I have no idea where they check in. And I'm not too sure exactly where they check any marks for, but as the answer, as logically as possible. The only thing I could have done differently is um, probably some of the calculations. I condensed a bit, but nothing too difficult. And it's basically a straightforward but answer. Any questions? Same. Right. Most of y'all would have made a mistake um, by not putting in the calculate any marks. Um, keeping track of the vehicle number. All right, the function power accepts two non-negative numbers b and x, and b and x come in. And results is equal to num stars count. Results is equal to one. Num stars equal to x. So let's see if we can trace through this guy here. Results is equal to none. Num stars equal to x. While num stars is greater than zero. Okay, so we got three and five coming in so three is b and x is five so what should happen is that num stars which is equal to the so number of stars will be equal to five because x is equal to num stars num stars equal to x sorry now we're saying while num stars is greater than zero so while five is greater than zero what do we want to do result is equal to result multiplied by p so if we were to give it a trace table we would have x star and result and and then we have the output x so if I think it makes sense of what will happen here so b starts off at 3 x starts off at 5 that puts num stars at 5 and results start off at 1 count starts off at well, we want to assume that count starts off at 0 we didn't say what count starts off as but you should assume it's 0 right so we get that so oh, was gonna... right yes so I was right so it's 3 5 right so these are starting values now num stars greater than 0 that is true so we're going to say result is equal to result multiplied by b so inside the loop now and inside the loop result is going to be result multiplied by b so one by three so result will change to three all right so delta that line there print the number of multiplications left print f the number of multiplications left so we're going to the output will be number of multiplication left right, so that's what will come up first count is equal to num stars count is equal to num stars so count will be equal to five and now we're going to a new while loop b and x change the same num stars will change right so now we're going into a new while loop and that new while loop is going to be while count is greater than zero so count at this state is five print f star so this loop here is going to go while 5 is written on 0 so for every 5 5 4 3 2 1 we're going to get 1 2 3 4 5 stars all right that'll be what this does here and our count will end up becoming here yeah, the count will go down i'll represent this small while you put 5 4 3 2 1 in there all right the last thing that'll happen is the count will end up reaching 0 and 0 is not greater than 0 okay so count actually reaches down to 0 but the 5 stars will get printed then we have printed new line and num stars go down by 1 so the new line will happen and the num stars will go down by 1 which will carry down to four and then our while loop is going to num stars greater than zero so the num stars here is going to be four greater than zero is four greater than zero four is greater than zero yes it is so therefore we go back into the loop result is going to be result multiplied by b result is currently three three multiplied by b is nine and reason the result changes to nine because b never changed print f number of multiplications left hold on these five stars going on come up right after this number of multiplications that it's been yeah. 
actually at the moment five stars will end up right tonight so they're gonna end up right after the number of multiplications good then we have results is equal to nine number of multiplications that will get printed again number of multiplications and that's going to carry count is now equal to num stars so count is going to change to four All right so we check in from four three two one so we're gonna get four one two three four stars and count goes down by one so no sorry num stars go down by one so num stars will go down to three okay go back and transfer this down to the on the bottom now because we are uh, understanding the pattern all right so once you understand the pattern it shouldn't be that hard to do that so you get the pattern da, 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 da. okay right so what will happen next is the value for count will go from three to one so print number of multiplications left is one two three right yep one two three stars and then that will change the value of num stars down to two. Oh wait we gotta multiply um nine by three which is 27 that'll give us a two there and then we have two and one will be the values of count that'll, that'll change two and one so number of multiplications left will be one two and then what are we going to get 27 by three what's 27 by three i should know that i would i mean Let's put that 81. Yeah, 27 by 3 will be 81. The 81 will go there. And then our num stars will change to 1. And when our num stars changes to 1, we will get 1. It will be in the count. Well, it will only count one time. Number of multiplications left will be 1. And then after that, the value of num stars will change to. Sorry, the value of E will be 81 by 3, which is 243, I think. 243 and then the value of num stars will be zero once the value of num stars which is zero then that will now say well zero can't be greater than zero that will be right here so we will end the loop and then say print f. something raised to the power of something is something so we print in b x and results so b is three is two five is two forty three right that's where it should be so these are the output lines here this line that line, that line, that line, that line, and that line. It's a hard six marks to work for. Hard six marks to work for. But sorry, question. All right, draw a flowchart that describes the operation. All right, this flowchart, this flowchart was not pretty up. So I'll draw it up here and then I'll transfer it down, right? So we can see how it goes. So we start in that. Now, once you start, do you want to set all the variables that they have there? I'll try to put them on the same line so you could see that they were all set. So result is equal to 1 and num star is equal to x. And then we have a while loop. So the while loop is going to be represented by a diamond. And that diamond is going to be second if num stars is greater than 0. Alright, so if the num stars is greater than 0, I'll hit them a yes here. Yes, num stars is greater than 0. What do we do? Well, the first thing I have to do is set result. Result is equal to result multiplied by B. And then our next thing will be to print stuff, which is a parallelogram. Print up number of blah blah. Number of multiplications left. I'll print that out. And then then we're going to do a assignment of count for the num style. Now we have a new loop which is our while loop and this while loop is going to check for count greater than zero and then if the count is greater than zero the answer to that is yeah we are going to do a printer of a star printer star um, and then count minus minus would be uh, I mean, I mean a rectangle oh minus minus right so that will give us this loop here and this loop will keep going on and on and on as long as the count is greater than zero but the count minus minus will loop back up to here once that loops back up there we could deal with the, the no part of it now and the no will just go straight to print num stars which is the no for this also so this no will meet this no once i'll finish there and they will all go down to print num star the printer will go down to printer backslash n and that will go down to and num star minus minus no wait i like this sorry we're still inside the while loop so there is no here we're just going to meet that there. this why the end of this while loop here is going to meet the end of the num star which will be this guy here right yeah um we'll have to do these two num stars are uh, minus minus the while loop will go over if i get to the while loop will go back up here 
and the no now will just be some random printer have to get done. No is going to reach to a printer. Printer listen. Yada 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 and then it will stop it. It looks like it now. I'll we'll move it down into the clear space so we can kind of trace it through and make sure. Alright, so we cover everything. We started, we read the numstars, we check to see if numstars is greater than zero. It is, yes, we do that stuff. We have the small while loop here that will do the count. If that count goes good, numstars belong to minus one, numstars goes back. This loop will keep going as long as the numstars do minus one, and then it will print out. It will be good there. Any issues? So then? Um, the return, well the return yeah, you could put on as a process here, yeah, you could put the return, the return, um, return result here, yeah, that will be a process before the end, so I'll put that here, put return result and then stop, right, okay, cool, return result is a process, so I'll put it by, anyhow, it's a process, so it's a return, alright, so we write the power, we write the function power such that each while structure is replaced with a force structure, okay, no, we write the whole thing, but why not, int power, int t, e, int x, and then inside here we'll have a int result and num stars and we'll have a c because c is just a nice way for counts to work um result will also still be set to one and then we we'll go four um num stars is equal to num stars starts off as um as x right yeah we set the num stars as x yeah. or num stars is equal to x and the condition is x is less than zero we we'll put num stars minus minus right so it's kind of it's a reverse for loop well it's a decrementing for loop instead of a incrementing and then we put back the same result is equal to result by b because that that not change any logic not really changing is the looping part printer is um printer and uh, multiplications, yada yada yada. Um, but now we have to do the next while loop. The next while loop is going to be for um, C. This is where we use C. For C is equal to num style, um, and C is greater than zero. C minus minus. Because that's the variable that we have here. Yeah, well, all shifts I should name in count. My bars they use count. I rename it to C. Count. For count is right. Minus minus, and we just had to do one print up inside there. So if it's one print up, you could put us one line. If it's one line, you could just put the one line alone. Um, and that will save you trouble. And the next printer. But if you want to put the curly brackets, you can put the curly brackets if you want. And then do the printer percent D raise to the power of percent D in the send E comma E comma comma result. And already changing and the return result. And right, that is that. So basically what you're looking at is you're looking at this for loop here would be important and then this for loop here you have to know that you're, you're, you're starting at num stars here and this one you're starting num stars as the as the value of x good my bad all right the condition here is num stars greater than zero right that's the condition right good fixed right so the numstars greater than zero goes there 